Hey, this is Professor Perez again. We're back for part two of logarithms. Now, in this video, we're not going to use our calculator to do these logarithms. So, all you calculator kids out there, put those calculators away. That's right. Now, let's see if Charlie's ready. He better be ready to go. <coughs> hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Today, we're going to do logarithm calculations without a calculator, by the way. Okay. Now, Charlie, let's see if you learned anything. Okay, log base 4 of 16, okay? That represents an exponent, right, Charlie? Now, what exponent does that actually represent? 4, uh, Okay, I think what Charlie's trying to say what? is that it represents the exponent you raise base 4 to the power of to get 16. Okay, Charlie, so realistically, you should be asking yourself, this question, what do I raise 4 to the power of to get 16? Because that's what that logarithm is asking you. Log base 4 of 16 is simply asking you, what power do I raise 4 to to get 16? And, okay, Charlie, so what do you think it is? Okay, 4 to what power is 16, Charlie? 2. It is 2. That's correct. There you go. And so your answer is 2. Now, why is it 2, Charlie? It's because 4 raised to the second power is 16. Very nice, Charlie. You're doing logarithms now. See? Logarithms are easy. Okay, here we go. Now, let's do another one. Log base 2 of 8. So, Charlie, this, question, this logarithm is asking you, what do I raise base 2 to the power of to get 8? And what is it, Charlie? 3. 3. That's right. That's because 2 raised to the third power is 8. Very nice, Charlie. So, let's do another one log base 3 of 9. Now, Charlie, what is this asking you? 3 to what power is 9? That's right. What do you raise 3 to the power of to get 9? And what is it, Charlie? 2. 2. Very nice, Charlie. It is 2. That's because 3 raised to the second power is equal to 9. Very nice. Oh, what fun. Let's do another one. All right, Charlie, here we go. Log base 10 of 1,000. Now, log base 10 is actually referred to as the common log, okay? And generally when you have a log with a base 10, we don't put the base down there. So notice here, log base 10 of 1,000, we just say log 1,000. So when you don't see a base on your logarithm, it's assumed to be 10, okay? When it says L-O-G like that. Okay, now, Charlie, this logarithm is asking you what? 10 to what power is 1,000? That's right. What do you raise 10 to the power of to get 1,000? And what is it, Charlie? Three is three, that's right, because 10 raised to the third power is 1,000. Very nice, Charlie. So, here we go. Let's try this one here. Log base 5 of 5. Now, some of these logarithms are so easy, they're confusing. Okay. Here we go, Charlie. This logarithm is asking you what? 5 to what power is 5? That's right. And what do I raise 5 to the power of to get 5? 1. That's 1, that's right. 5 to the first power is equal to 5. There it is. It's that easy. Okay, here goes another one, Charlie. Log base pi of pi squared. Now, Charlie, what's this question asking you? Pi to what power is pi squared? That's right. And what is it? 2. You're exactly right. Because pi raised to the second power is equal to pi squared. It's that simple. See, it's confusing. Okay. Now, here we go. Log base 3 of 1, Charlie. This question is asking you what? 3 to what power is 1? Okay. And so, what do you raise 3 to the power of to get 1? 0. That's right, Charlie. It is 0. That's because 3 to the 0 power is equal to 1. 1. Remember, anything to the 0 power is 1 except for 0 to the 0. Okay, that one's undefined. Right, here we go. Now, log of 10 to the... I'm sorry, log of 10 to the negative fifth, that's right. What's our base with that logarithm, Charlie? 10. It's 10, that's right. And so, what do you raise 10 to the power of to get 10 raised to the negative 5? Negative 5? That's it. It's because 10 to the negative 5 is obviously equal to 10 to the negative 5. So see, some of these logarithms are so easy, they're confusing. But you won't be confused because you just learned how to do them. Without a calculator, by the way. <laughs> anyway, Charlie, let's do some more. Okay, now. Log base 5 of 1 over 25. Now, this requires that you have some knowledge of negative exponents, okay? Here we go, Charlie. Now, it's a tough one. What is this logarithm asking you? 
Five to what power is one over 25? Okay, that's right. Now, think about this, Charlie. What do you raise five to the power of to get 25? Two. Two, that's right. And so, what do you raise five to the power of to get a one over 25? Negative two. That is a negative two. That's true, because five raised to the negative two actually means one over five squared, which is actually equal to one over 25. Very nice, okay? Let's do another one. Now, these are tough ones, right? Here we go. Log base three of zero, Charlie. What's this logarithm asking you? Three to what power is zero? Okay, what do you raise three to the power of to get zero? So what do you think, Charlie? Think about it. One? Yeah, it's not one, because three to the one is three. Zero? It's not zero, because three to the zero is one. Can't do it? So what would you raise three to the power of to get zero? Can't do it. Yeah, you can't do it. <laughs> So this logarithm, as we say, is undefined because you can't raise three to the power and get zero. There's no way, okay? So log of zero is actually undefined. We'll talk more about that type of logarithm later on. Okay, here we go, Charlie. Now let's do log base four of eight. Ooh, this is a tough one. And don't tell me you need a calculator to do this one either. Okay, what is this question asking you, Charlie? Four to what power is eight? Four to what power is eight? Very nice. So. Okay, now think about this. Let me walk you through this. What's the square root of four? Two. Two, and two cubed is? Eight. Is eight. So watch this, Charlie. The answer is three halves. I'll give it to you. That's because four raised to the three halves, remember that denominator says take the square root of four, which is two, and that numerator says take the two and cube it, so you do get eight. Okay, that's a tough problem. It requires that you have some knowledge of fractional exponents. Here comes another one, log base 8 of 1 16th. Without a calculator, Charlie, what's this question asking you? 8 to what power is 1 16th? That's right, what power do I raise 8 to to get 1 over 16? Okay, here we go, Charlie. So, let me give you the answer, because I know you haven't covered negative uh, exponents yet, let alone fractional exponents, so we'll walk you through it, okay? Remember, Charlie, earlier we found out that 8 to the 4 thirds was equal to what? 16. That's because the cube root of 8 was 2, and 2 to the 4th was 16. And so, if 8 to the 4 thirds was 16, that means 8 to the negative 4 thirds is what, Charlie? 1 over 16? 1 over 16, that's right. Now, that was a tough problem right there, right? But you can do it without a calculator if you understand what a logarithm is. Anyway, that's all for now. We're going to come back and do some more logarithms very soon. Okay, Charlie, we'll see you soon. Do your homework. <laughs>